A little bit more on how what is happening on the border is playing out politically. Ahead of the midterms, ICE is quickly becoming a favorite Democratic punching bag, with calls to abolish the agency and then more moderate Democrats demanding at least a major overhaul. I think what has to change are the policies and the people that are making these policies are making horrendous decisions like separating kids from their parents. We are always going to need immigration enforcement. All right, more insight. Let's bring in Ivan Elin, senior fellow at the Independent Institute. Nice to see you, sir. Appreciate it. Uh, as you look at this, is this a problem with an agency? Is this a problem with policies? Or is this a problem with neither? And Democrats just seem to be wanting to find a wedge issue. Well, I think there are issues with the agency because it was originally set up to after 9-11 to catch terrorists, and that kind of conflicts with the mission that's being used uh, uh, to do now. But uh, I think it's probably a political loser for the Democrats to focus on that. I think they probably should be focusing on the policy. And I think, you know, uh, we can argue about illegal immigration, but I think really we need to uh, look at a wider uh, the issue more widely. We do need immigration in this country because uh, other countries like Russia, uh, uh, China, Italy, they're all getting really old and we're not getting old as quickly and immigration is what's doing it. And I, we also need the immigration to support our social security system as well because we need younger yeah, people. We were, we, were up at, we were up in Michigan uh, yesterday in Cherry Farmers up there were telling us they couldn't find Americans to do a lot of the work up there, hence they, they needed the immigrants. Still though, this has become this sort of favorite punching bag. Take a listen uh, to Dick Durbin, uh, just to, uh, I think this was yesterday on CNN. Look at ICE. What a group of incompetents. At this point, they're focused more on toddlers than terrorists. They want to, instead of deporting felons, they want to deport families that are being persecuted by criminal gangs. All right, so that's Dick Durbin. You've got the abolish ICE hashtag from the more socialist progressive parts of the Democratic Party. And then you have the president tweeting that without ICE, crime would be rampant and uncontrollable. Where's the truth? Well, I think that's a exaggeration. Certainly, uh, ICE does play a role in, uh, you know, rounding up terrorists, but, but you need to get to round up terrorists, you need uh, intelligence in the community, uh, and you're not going to get tel intelligence uh, from the community if you're deporting people. So the agency sort of has a conflicted mission now, and I think something probably does need to be done. But don't you need, if, if you're going to be a nation of laws, don't you need a group of law enforcement officials, federal or state, to go enforce those laws. And when people have broken them by coming across the border illegally and working illegally, don't you need a group of federal agents to go arrest those people and deport them? Otherwise, what's the point of having the law? Well, the question is, how much do you enforce the law? And of course, we've seen in previous administrations, Bush and Obama, where they enforce the law differently than Trump does. So. Uh, uh, there is some wiggle room as to how you enforce the laws, and uh, law enforcement agencies have a lot of discretion. Uh, I'm not ad advocating necessarily not enforcing the law, but I think uh, in, the, in, a, in the case of ICE, I certainly uh, wouldn't be on the Democratic bandwagon to just do away with it and not, you know, not put anything else there. But I think uh, we do need to uh, address some of the issues, yeah. uh, the, the internal contradiction that ICE has at this point. Interesting point. Appreciate you being with us. Thank you, sir. Thank Good to you. see you.